Hello, welcome again on this web application penetration testing series. My name is Sumit Jain and today I will talk about how to find bug bounty programs to test your skills and earn some bounty as well. So we can find various bug bounty programs using these two methods. One is using bug bounty platforms and the other one is using Google docking. I will explain both for you. So first we need to understand what is a bug bounty program. Bug bounty program allows companies to leverage the hackers community to improve their systems posture over time continuously. It uh, offer rewards to individual for uncovering and reporting security vulnerabilities. So com some companies using a uh, bug bounty platform to publish their programs and manage security reports. On the other hand, some companies use their own infrastructure to manage those security reports. There are multiple bug bounty platform present. Here is the list of those platform. You can simply register on their domain and start your hunt. The name of these platforms are hackerone.com, buckcrowd.com, secuna.io, integrity.com, fedresi.com, bugby.io, nordiacdefender.com, bugbounter.com, yesvhack.com, inspectivv.com, hackerad.com, hacker.fi, bugbounty.jp, hackandpoof.com, girocopter.com, openbugbounty.com, bugbounty.sa, immunify.com, hunter.dev, findbug.io, v1bounty.com, bug-bounty.com, whitehub.net, bugrank.io, redstorm.io. Now how to find available programs on these at from? So I will show you. Here is the program list on hacker one. You can find here, there are multiple programs present. You can open the program name and read the policies and start your hunt. You will find every related information on what to report, how to report, what are the out of scope domains, scope domains, what are their payouts, what are their response time. Here, here are out of scope vulnerabilities. These are these vulnerabilities are not applicable. The testing environment, submission requirements, rewards, CVRT, disclosure policy. Before starting to test a target, please read the disclosure policy. So we'll get an idea what to test or what to note. Here you can submit bugs. This is a format. You need to specify what you find, where you find, what is the weakness, what is the severity according to you, what is your vulnerability title and description, what is the impact of your bug, discovery details. Here is the available programs on buckcrowd.com. You can find multiple programs are listed there. Some famous companies are using buckcrowd. Like recently, OpenAI just launched their program on buckcrowd. You can see many different companies are available there. Their reward policy is also available. Here is the list of programs listed on integrity.com. So all these public programs you can use, you can find uh, many programs to test. These platform also manage private invitation for hackers who submit bugs more often. So now some bug bounty platforms are not available for instant hunt. So you need to apply there. They will give you some assessment first and you will pass the assessment. Then you can enter the platform. Some of them are Synac.com, Cobalt.io, Pentabug.com, Yogosha.com. You can find the application form on their web application. You need to apply there. Then they will give you some uh, CTF type of assessment. You need to complete in a time frame and submit the results. If you pass the assessment, then you can join the platform. They have also they have also 
very different different uh, programs over there you can check out now uh, how can we find uh, bug bounty programs using google.2 so here is the here is a list of google docs that will help you to find those programs just do google search with these docs let's see how this works so here is my google and i will show you how to find programs using google so search in url responsible disclosure 500 so you will get the programs who offer rewards as well as uh, their uh, disclosure policy you can find many programs also as an advice you can check uh, uh, daily for the results because some new programs are listed over there so many docs are available you can find all the docs in the video description as well and some of the docs i use more recently is so here is the doc list you can check you can find many programs so let's wrap up the things here i hope you will find this information useful if you like the content i am creating show some support by subscribing the channel click on the like button and share with others and tell me in the comments on which topic you want to make a video you can check my github and twitter profile too i'm regularly posting stuff there related to cyber security the link is mentioned in the video description so see you guys on the next video till then have a good day